Hello, everybody. Good evening, and welcome to a boisterous rockin' and rollin' Holon Toto Arena. This is the round of 16, the game of the week in the Basketball Champions League, the battle between Hapoel Atzmo Holon and Hapoel Jerusalem. and to win, but have fun. Those kind of games, players out as you can give whatever you can give. In the end, I cannot control the, but I can control one thing. If we are playing, each one of you is going to play his best game, I promise you, you don't need, you don't need to look at the box, box hole. We're going to win. Okay, it's up to us. Let's do it. Well, that was the picture of the players getting off the bus, going to the locker room, and hearing some words from Coach Guy Goodis. Steered this uh, home club to the Final Four last year, that incredible Final Four that was played in Bilbao, Spain, where their fans traveled en masse to create another Holy Land, so to speak. It was unbelievable. And they're hoping to get back. So are Hopwell Jerusalem. They're trying to make it for the first time to the Final Four. Also in group I on this game day, uh, JDA Dijon taking on Sig Strasbourg. And that's an all-French battle. So a little bit of uh, derby action going your way this week in the round of 16 in group I. hate to commentate over uh, this, the crowd noise because it is just worth absorbing, letting it become a part of you. Uh, nobody does it like Israel, the way they get into it. We're going to hear from the coaches in a minute, but group by standings, JDA Dijon and Strasbourg winning uh, the two games last week. Of course, uh, Strasbourg in that thriller, uh, the double overtime thriller over Halon and uh, Dijon just uh, taking it to Hopwell, Jerusalem in Jerusalem. So these two teams on the back foot and you would not want to lose this game and be 0 and 2. It won't knock you out, but it certainly will not help you if you're trying to get into the final four. If you're trying to if you're trying to get out of the round of 16, never mind the final four. Hi coach, uh, after the loss to Dijon in the first round, do you guys come to this game with kind of a sense of urgency? Yeah, I think uh, we do. Same as uh, our opponent. Okay, that's normal after after losses to come back with a little bit different energy, you know, energy. And um, I, I believe that both teams will be um, pretty much equal when we talk about that. What is the biggest challenge for the players when it comes to deal with the atmosphere here? Well, honestly. It's very individual. Some players like noise, uh, loud uh, arenas with the fans like supporting their team. Some players uh, simply change their game. So we'll see who is who tonight. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, that was a very placid, honest coach, Zikic. And Hapoel Jerusalem, Khadid Carrington, Levi Randolph, Speedy Smith, Marix Maharas, uh, Itai Segev, Brandon Brown, Sim Sandervene, Os Bleiser, Noam Yakov, Zach Hankins, Gilad Levy, and Or Cornelius playing for coach Zikic.
also here from Coach Goodis. Stay focused for 40 minutes. Uh, it's going to be a lot of pressure around. It's going to be full atmosphere. And I think uh, key for us to stay locked in, to do our stuff, what we plan. And, and uh, it's going to be also runs in the game, momentums. So we need to handle those things. Who do you feel like is the most dangerous player right now in Apollo Jerusalem? It's tough to say because uh, in any in any moment, each each player in Jerusalem can uh, score and help the team to win. But uh, they are around Zach and Enkins for sure, uh, and Speedy Smith, the connection between both of them. And uh, they are playing strong defense. They're one of the best defensive team in the, the BCL. And we are uh, one of the best offensive team in the BCL. So it's going to be two styles, different styles. And uh, the team, they're going to uh, control their styles. I think probably we win the game. Thank you. Well, Joe Raglan coming off his uh, MVP of the month for January in that lineup, Sean Dawson, and we didn't want you to look at it too long, so we just removed it, but uh, Zach, uh, we're looking at the Hapoel Jerusalem team coming out right now. I'll go through and read some of the, the players for Halon. Frederick Bordillon, Chris Johnson, obviously, Sean Dawson, Galabrat, CJ Harris, Shahar Amir, Hayden Dalton, Javin Delorier, Marvin Jones, Maxim Romanoff, Niv Misgav, Ahmed Sanker, Rand Solomon, and Eitan Yanai. So we will uh, see who plays the big minutes tonight. And you can hear Coach Goodis, he can't make any guarantees other than that if we get the best version of all these players for Halon, they're going to win the basketball game. So again, would you want to play in this environment if you're the other team? I would say yes. I don't know why anybody wouldn't want to play, but I suppose uh, maybe uh, this type of environment uh, for some players, it can serve as a distraction. If you're from the road, the road team, and uh, maybe it gets inside your head a little bit, maybe you're making a repeat trip, you know, then uh, they target you. You never know. I mean, it's... Uh, I think it's I think it's fantastic and it always is when Halon host games in the basketball champions league we've seen it uh, for so many years and of course with Delaria joining this team the former Duke man playing for coach good it's uh, this is a Halon team that seems to be getting better but again they lost last week and uh, well they do they are a club it, it seems like they, they make things difficult for themselves yet uh, they're full of confidence they like the drama. They like to set it up to come down to the wire and uh, usually make the most of it. And again, they came up short last year, losing twice at the Final Four. But uh, they their, and their fans were just an amazing team. And we enjoyed following them on that journey. So there's Raglan, one of last year's outstanding players, as well as Johnson. And they are again this year. Uh, Joe Raglan being recognized. He was the MVP month, MVP of the month for October as well. And so it's uh, you think about an entire competition like the Basketball Champions League and to win it twice, that's, that's, uh, that's something else, isn't it? And he just gave all credit. He, he went out of his way to thank the coaching uh, for allowing him to be himself, Coach Goodis, and for allowing him to be an extension of the coach on the court and I thought those were nice comments that are certainly gonna get you more minutes on the court but no seriously I mean he's good as has a good connection with him so Adamir Zarapovic the crew chief from Bosnia Herzegovina Michael Proch on the right from Poland and Benyamo Manuel Attard from Italy on the left the refereeing trio for 
this game. And we wanted to highlight a couple of players here that we thought uh, were going to do the business. Levi Randolph there on the right for Hopwell Jerusalem. Chris Johnson on the left. And those two players need no introduction uh, when it comes to the Basketball Champions League because they have been, I dare say, emblematic players in this competition over the years and continue to play at that sky high level and their stats uh, prove it uh, week in and week out they they just deliver so we will uh, see who the starting fives are going to be eventually i think we might be having a, a couple of issues uh, with our graphics levi randolph oh boy that was fast we do know that Levi Randolph is in the starting lineup for Coach Zikic. Alexander Zikic, again, cool, calm, and collected. Uh, his team won the regular season group, went straight to the round of 16, but then lost their first game to Dijon, who had to go through the play-in. And you do wonder if the play-in helps teams build momentum, get some more games. Maybe you lose your rhythm if you don't play in the play-in. I think it's without a doubt the best part, the best development in the Basketball Champions League since its inception, bringing in the play-in, bringing in that playoff atmosphere earlier in the season. So for Hopwell, Halon, Raglan, Chris Johnson, C.J. Harris, Hayden Dalton, and Marvin Jones in the starting five. C.J. Harris back in his second stint with Halon. Was in board last year in France. Winston Salem, North Carolina is where he hails from. Played at Wake Forest. So many other great players. The Tim Duncans of the world. The Randolph Childresses. The Chris Pauls. And here he is flying his trade overseas in Israel. Let's go down to the bench and try to listen to Coach Goodis. So that was 16.1 points and 11.3 assists per game in the Basketball Champions League in 2022-2023 for Joe Raglan. And no player's ever actually gone through the entire season with averages of 10 plus points and 10 plus assists. Uh, minimum two games. So uh, Raglan, who knows, might pull that off this year. We'll see. and Marcelino Huertas, another basketball Champions League great. Both tied with 10 double-doubles in points and assists, the most ever in the BCL. Well, good evening, everybody, and welcome. We are underway at least one second into this game, and as is the time-honored tradition, the confetti falls. And the Halloween fans, just to remind you that they are here in the house. Look at that. Looks like a painting. 
So Jerusalem starting with Or Cornelius, Zach Hankins, Marius Mahedis, Levi Randolph, and Speedy Smith. Mahedis, the uh, Latvian international. And again, as we look at the mascot, Hayden Dalton, Harris, Johnson, Jones, and Ranglin on the court for Hopewell Halone. And there's a lot of other people on the court with brooms, and we don't have the names, but they'll be getting them up, getting the confetti up, and that will not have come as a surprise to anybody on that Jerusalem bench. It's just the way things are. You just don't even question it. There's Zach Hankins. He has been one of the main guys this year. He has been terrific. And while we've got a minute, it was Raglan, Marcus Foster, Marcus McDuffie, Akil Mitchell, and Jere Busiele, who were in that team of the week, team of the month, excuse me, for January for their great performances. And uh, well, you can make the argument for a lot of other guys as well, but you certainly can't say that those guys did not deserve their spots. So the Jerusalem fans have come in big numbers as anticipated. What an amazing city Jerusalem is. It's the most amazing place I've ever been, I'll tell you that. Uh, but this one is in a different part of Israel, Halon, and we are about ready to get it going after the uh, confetti, the last pieces of confetti are vacuumed up off the floor. Again, this is the second game in the round of 16 for these two teams. And remember, both of these teams falling last week. So it's a battle of 0-1 teams. And the sense of urgency is there for both to get that first win tonight. You don't want to start 0-2 in the round of 16. So we are underway. Jerusalem have it. Levi Randolph bringing the basketball up the floor. Speedy Smith, the bounce pass, gets away, trying to get it. Hank is able to save it. Shot clock about to expire. Speedy Smith has to launch it, and it goes off the back of the iron. to Hayden Dalton and that attempt was long had his shot blocked a key block last week in their defeat along Hayden Dalton out of the dump Randolph goes to work nice old pump fake and he gets to the line First one is good for Levi Randolph. And the second. So Hopwell Jerusalem take the early lead. from the corner falls down hits it off the side of the backboard and Randolph wants to take advantage of Ragland a little bit of size mismatch note they swing it and the long jump shot doesn't fall for Jerusalem that's Cornelius and then Cornelius reaches in and commits the foul
So CJ Harris goes to the free throw line and makes the first. And Cornelius indeed committed the foul. You can see uh, the stadium literally lighting up with this incredible crowd. Flares behind the basket. So knotted it two here at the start of what is an Israeli derby here tonight in the Basketball Champions League. The first time that's ever happened. And one reason why this is the game of the week. We are fascinated. Maharis gets it down low. And look at the follow from Zach Hankins. Nobody boxed out. Big number 35. Hankins reaches in. Cheap foul to give away. Long way from the basket. And that is what you call the gift of length and elevation. Being able to get up off the floor of Zach Hankins, uh, but also uh, alert and getting in there to score with the putback. CJ Harris looks for space. Dribbles in. Oh, he gets rejected. It was like a window cleaner. Zach Hankins saying, get that out of here. The foul has been called. So the foul called on, was it Speedy Smith? No, wait a minute. So it was indeed Speedy Smith called for the foul on C.J. Harris. Who is earning a living tonight at the free throw line, making all four of his attempts. And that accounts for the scoring for Halon. Remember, this is the round of 16, and you look at Levi Randolph. Now Ragland with Cornelius on him. Felt the pressure come in turns, explodes, and again, just Hankins just jumps up and prevents the pass from being completed. Well, having a good, tall, athletic big man like Zach Hankins uh, makes up for a lot of mistakes on defense. They're able to go up and just protect the rim. And Speedy Smith blocked. And Maharis, well, look like he's going to save it, but shot clock expires. And Zikic, a little frustrated. Look at this. So incredible scenes once again in Halon. Dalton's going to try to inbound it, and he does. Harris uh, having the ball in his hands a lot tonight. Crosses midcourt. Goes between the legs. Johnson in the right corner. They're trying to spread it out so they can get something to the basket. No, C.J. Harris steps back. Neither team able to get out and run right now. This is a this is a half court game, and I'm, I'm not sure who that favors to be honest. Speedy Smith knocks it down. Well, as long as he can do that, it favors Hopwell Jerusalem. The 
Tunisia teams met earlier this year, not in the Basketball Champions League, but in Israel, and uh, Holon won it. Here's Raglan, explodes! Misses everything, though, except the backboard. Ball ends up with the man with plenty of speed. He brings it back out, Speedy Smith. Harris trying to keep Levi Randolph out. Maharis dumps it down low. Zach Hankins misses. Now Raglan passes up ahead. Great catch. And Johnson gets it back in. And now Harris. Harris shaking over to Raglan for three. You can count it. Nothing but the bottom of the net for Joe Ragland. Maharis for three. Jones hands it off to Ragland. Here comes Halon. Gets in the paint, and Maharis knocks it away, but goes over to Johnson. It's a two if it draws for Jones. It does not. Cornelius. Good-looking shot from number 80. Opening up some good shooting from three point range. Here's Ragland probing over to Harris. Takes what the defense gives him, whips it over to Hayden Dalton. Now it's going to be Ragland, and Ragland strikes again. Well, he knows he's the best. He's been the MVP of the month twice already this season. He's just going to let it fly. Good patience that time. Both teams knocking down threes like there's no tomorrow right now. Maharis gets it over to Speedy Smith. Here's Cornelius again. It looks good, but it's short. Ragland gets away from Cornelius, who chases from behind. And Speedy Smith now trying to stick to Joe Ragland. Dalton, the pump fake, gets in, and the ball fumbled away, but it was fouled by Maharis. Well, you see, Dalton, he's like, oh, I'm going to take this, and he's like, oh, Raglan, Joe's open. I got to get him the ball. So Joe Ragland is going to come out, take, and take, take a seat for the first time in this game. Brandon Brown also in the game. There's a long make. Another basket since Sander Vanny has checked into the game. That was Johnson's first two points. Hankins, the pump fake. And got Javin Delorier, who just came into the game off his feet, and I believe it's on Delorier. So no, it's on Hayden Dalton. So it must have been for a push. Niv Misgav has checked into the game as well for Halon. So Brandon Brown in for Jerusalem, as well as Carrington, who wears number zero. Brown wears number seven. So Brandon Brown misses from the corner. Sim Sandevane is number 11, the Estonia International for Jerusalem. Here's Johnson from the corner. Look out. Johnson heating up all of a sudden. Raglan and Johnson, the big players, getting it done for Halon tonight. 
Brown. A little hesitation and loses it, then gets it back. Possession arrow favors Halon. So Hayden Dalton takes a seat for the first time as well. That's not the first time we've seen Brandon Brown play in the Basketball Champions League this season. He also is in Nizhny Novgorod. And of course, Cluj Napoca last year when they had that magical run. The ball gets away, and Miscaf and Hankins says, How dare you get that out of here? Hankins is such a quick jumper. He can just sit there and watch, and then just got like jumping jacks. He just explodes and goes up and swats the basketball away. So Zach Hankins, the window cleaner, goes out. So Bordillon now in the game for Holon. He's number eight. And the three-point shot is good from Sin Sanderbene. He takes Segev also in the game for Jerusalem. And DeLaurier showing what he can do. He joined the team in the middle of December. Nice fit. Played for Mike Krzyzewski, Coach K, back in the day at Duke. And the basket, basketball. So Cornelius is fouled. Raglan has come back in for Harris. And now also in the game, Yakov, Noam Yakov. And the whistle blows. Yakov, meanwhile, in the young man's brigade, just 18 years of age. Actually has a Danish nationality. Uh, one of these promising youngsters that those fans right there especially are excited to see in the Basketball Champions League. So many good young players get a shot to play in this competition and really take off. So Carrington. Pulls his team to within three points. Deloria and Miscav go back out. So Sean Dawson back in the game. Hayden Dalton back in. Probably the final possession for Halon. Raglan. Goes right up over Yakov, misses, and the rebound for Jerusalem. They put it up three quarters of the length of the court and almost, almost made it. One attempt. But that's how it finishes. It was Segev who almost made that. Hapoel Atsmo Halon leading it 18 to 15 over Hapoel Jerusalem at the end of one. So better shooting at least from three point range for Halon. Well, you want action? We got action. The high flying action of the Zach attack, Zach Hankins, who does so many things uh, for Jerusalem. Speedy Smith, 
Obviously a great talent coming out scoring. Ragland needs no introduction. He's no ordinary judge, that's for sure. Uh, Cornelius coming out and showing us his silky smooth stroke. Harris has been good with his scoring, with his passing. Hayden Dalton with his unselfishness. Ragland again providing points. And Johnson, well, he will make his mark on every single game. He is uh, Mr. Intensity. Miss Gap as well coming out, and that was Johnson stroking it from the corner. And it's in Sandavene. Not a player that you want to leave open. Nor is DeLaurier. So game of the week, folks. Halon taking on Jerusalem. And you can watch the Basketball Champions League live for free on courtside 1891. Get yourself there. Sign up and watch it. Courtside 1891 is where all the action is. Of course, all the internationals that will be coming up. The next window, the World Cup later this year. Three-point shot is good. Brandon Brown from downtown. So 18 apiece. Dawson. And not sure what he was trying to do there. He got deep. Turned it over. Sims to Vane gets it up to Carrington. Here goes Brandon Brown over to Vane from the right corner. And that was short. And Ragland gets past Carrington, who looked like he might have wanted to commit a foul. And look at that. Going up off one foot, Chris Johnson. He's, he's pulling out all the shots tonight. His repertoire. Scoring down low from the corner and then off one leg, off one foot. Here's Brandon Brown again. Bordillon. He'd like to get some space to launch some. He's a good shooter as well. They're all, let's be honest, they're all good shooters in this alone team. They can all put it up. Here's the drive and the rejection. And Johnson knows, sticks with it. And now the steal, the interception. And going the other way, Dawson! <laughs> 24 to 18. Hold on with the wind in their sails right now. And Johnson with a push. So Raglan gets the penetration, the rejection, but then Johnson, who is just feeling it, turns uh, for the second time tonight goes off one foot quick pass down low Sega turns good effort by Van A to keep it down here Yakov has it tries to pass it back into the paint that was not the right decision Raglan and oh Delorier Look at that. Look at that's what you call talent. <laughs> Getting it stuck. Carrington was trying to commit the foul. He just couldn't get to Ragland. He's not the MVP of the month for nothing. Chase him if you want to, but you got to catch him. atmosphere the Havoel Toto Arena in Israel the Israeli Derby
the first ever. And the three-point shot is good from Dawson. And again, the Israeli international showing us that quality. He's got five points. It's a nine-point advantage for Halon. Jerusalem want to put the brakes on this run if they can. And the shot is long. Bordeon doesn't keep it. He fumbles it away. Vane gets it back to Speedy Smith. Suddenly, out of sync, Jerusalem on this end of the court. Tempo favoring Halon. Here's Levi Randolph. And he is fouled as he gets his feet wet, gets in the paint. Now that was just a telegraph pass. And Sean Dawson just answered, picked up the receiver and said hello and went the other way. Levi Randolph, a little bit of a slow start, trying to get into the flow. Uh, makes both free throws. Brandon Brown takes a seat. Jerusalem have twice made it to the quarterfinals. Uh, but Halon, the team that has made it to the final four last year. Dawson, another three attempt. And Delorier swoops in for the rebound. Raglan, shot clock about to expire. Into the corner. Shot is up and no good. CJ Harris won't drop. Well, I think the phrase you can hear a pin drop never applies in this place. This is loud. And another turnover, another fast break. Here comes Raglan. And he goes old school, just lays it up. Mighty Joe Raglan. And Halon on top of Hapoel Jerusalem in this battle of 0-1 teams. And Speedy Smith, well, just lost it. Let's go down to the bench and see if we can hear Coach Zikic. Well, if those passes are made like that, that is toxic to a team's chances of winning the basketball game. Just like that, turnovers are a team's worst enemy, really, when they lead to points. Cologne with seven points off turnovers, just two points off turnovers for Hopwell Jerusalem. And right now, all the momentum with the team in white. Speedy Smith steps into one and just does not get it to fall. going according to plan right now for hello uh, the bounce pass stolen uh, quickly into transition there's Carrington drives in oh he can't get it to drop but he'll get two free throws well 
That's a start. Speedy Smith coming up and getting the steal. Ignites a fast break. So Carrington will go to the line. And in fairness to Carrington, that was very difficult to make that shot the way Ranklin was reaching in. So Carrington trying to uh, impact this game. And he does. He makes both free throws. Twenty-seven years of age now, Kadeem Carrington. Actually played for JDA Dijon last season. Here's uh, Delorier blocks, but he also uh, Fane was called for the block. So, Halon going to the free throw line, trying to uh, restore their nine point advantage. Jerusalem. You know, you're struggling, struggling on the offensive end. Go inside. Go to your big fella. Look at this. Carrington drifts in. And uh, even if the pass uh, didn't really connect well, it was the athleticism and reaction by Hankins to be able to, to get it and to get the shot attempt. So Marvin Jones comes back in for Delorier. So no free throws and Levi Randolph just banks it in gets it back to a six point deficit. You heard the roar from the uh, Jerusalem faithful of which there are many tonight here in the stands. Miss Gav. Now Jones turns. Beatty Smith rebounds and runs. Carrington and bumped as he goes up. So free throws coming for Kadeem Carrington. If you want to see two distinct differences between these two clubs in the Basketball Champions League, it's right here at the free throw line. Coming into this game, Hopwell Bank, Yahab Jerusalem had the lowest percentage of the team still alive. And even if you go to the 32 teams, there were 31 out of 32 teams shooting at a 65.7% clip. Dalton comes in for Johnson. And meanwhile, Halon, well, all they're doing is uh, shooting 83.9% at the free throw line, and that ranks numero uno, number one in the Basketball Champions League. Uh, 
Uh, but wouldn't you, you wouldn't know it on that with uh, Carrington going up and making both free throws. And look at that. You wouldn't know it either. Jerusalem, 10 of 10 tonight. So they are focused and making their chances. Here goes Speedy Smith and hands it off. And Kadeem Carrington and Guy Goodis has to call a timeout as Hopwell Jerusalem comes storming back. And really, think about how big the turnovers are, have been in this game for both teams. It's the turnover game that has helped Hopwell Jerusalem come back into it. They now have six points off turnovers compared to seven for Halon. two-point advantage with Jerusalem on a run on a roll so to speak and it's been the turnover game again Speedy Smith quickly getting into transition after Harris lost control of the basketball and a few more smiles now uh, up in the stands there for the fans wearing the red of Hopwell Jerusalem Miss Gaff. It's a back. Dawson open for three. And you cannot count that one. And Jerusalem can take the lead if they hit a three. And now the foul call. Nope. I thought they called the foul. They have not. Dawson rebounds the miss. Looked like Harris was arguing as if a foul had been called. And now. Mahan is called for the foul on Dalton. So Harris, that's where they got tangled up in Carrington. Well, it looked like he was expecting a foul to be called, but I'm not sure you're going to get that call here in Halon if you're a Jerusalem player. Now, the whistle did not blow in the end. Dalton puts it up from deep. Now, Harris gets it back to Dalton. Raglan the law and Marvin Jones starving for the lob goes up and throws it down. And now they get the steal Raglan in Jerusalem. Compound the, the situation, the mistake with another turnover. So this is the lob, and then watch what happens after this. Racklin just kind of minding his own business, looking like he was getting ready to go play D, just kind of hung around and then just stole the pass. Very sloppy. And Zikic beside himself. It was Levi Randolph with the turnover. Timeout. Just slow down. Give chance. For this guy to 
So this was the lob. Now, the steal came right after this. And Joe Raglan just impacts the game in so many different ways his scoring, his defense, his driving ability, his three point shots. Harris bounce pass, Jones. Well, Jones didn't have to take that shot, but he had a good look and it was just well short. Here goes Randolph on the baseline. And offensive foul called. It was a travel, not an offensive foul. Bounce pass to Jones. Dalton puts it up again, gets it to go. Well, he is shooting that thing with confidence. It's only made tonight, uh, but clearly feeling like he's got the right to shoot it. We know he can do it. Minute. Or no, excuse me. That was Maharis getting in and scoring. So his first bucket, first bucket of the game. Maddox Maharis. Final 27 seconds here in the first half. Joe Raglan. Doesn't settle. Brandon Brown back in the game, guarding him. Dalton. Raglan does have to put it up, though, for three. And just got it to the rim. Bounced to the corner. And Apollo Drusum now with the last shot of the half. Randolph puts it up. And Zikic. A little frustrated as he walks off at halftime. Is Hopwell Atsmo Halong leading at 35 30 over Hopwell Jerusalem at halftime? Two more threes for Halong, but look at the free throw shooting. You think that might be an issue coming into the game in uh, Jerusalem, a perfect 10 of 10. Hot Boy Jerusalem with one more rebound, but the turnovers have been costly. Johnson, Chris Johnson with nine points, Raglan eight, Dawson five, Carrington, Randolph, and Cornelius leading the way for Jerusalem. Here's Levi Randolph. Levi, uh, it's a low scoring game uh, so far. What is the part of your game plan to set the pace? Uh, for us, it's just defense. That's the biggest, uh, you know, the, the spot where we hang our hat is on the defensive end. So we just want to continue with the pressure, continue to play hard. Thank you very much. Thanks. Well, speaking of defense, there was no defense on that shot as Levi Randolph just banked it in. Here's Chris Johnson. Impose during the first half that you managed to handle well. Um, I think that just the pressure on defense, you know, they're a good defensive team. I think we all uh, had a few turn, two uh, big turnovers in the first half, but I think we've cleaned that up. We got a good chance of winning. Thank you, Chris. Thank you. Well, one of the baskets for Chris Johnson. He's got a game high nine points at halftime for Holon. Uh, making himself a factor here at the beginning of the game. Cornelius playing well. Speedy Smith knocking down a three-pointer. And Jerusalem right there. I mean, it's only a five-point game right now. So uh, we know that they can put points on the board in a hurry. Uh, but so can Joe Raglan and Halong. Here's Cornelius.
Cornelius with just that three points, one of three from the floor. Chris Johnson has been getting his in a myriad of ways tonight. Delorier getting in on the three point shooting. So it's uh, Ragland that is the only player with multiple threes. He's two of three from three point range. Brandon Brown came in, initially made a nice little uh, impact. And that was just poor, the turnover, leading to the easy bucket. And you just don't want to help a team by giving them layups. Good spark provided by Dawson. And this is when it just wasn't working for Jerusalem. They were their own worst enemies, turning it over. That was the bank shot that we saw before. And then it was Halone's turn to start struggling with uh, holding on to the basketball and leading some easy shots. But you can see where Raglan and Jones team up nicely with the lob. He just sees the play well before the play. He knows what the defense is going to do. And that's just a, a tough shot made by Dalton. This was Maharis who scored right at the end. So we're looking at Levi Randolph, who has scored six points tonight. Uh, Kadeem Carrington has eight points, who leads them in scoring. Uh, but this is Levi Randolph. And Chris Johnson leading the way with nine points for the home team for Halon to tonight he's played 16 minutes 24 seconds he's four or five from the floor he also has three rebounds it's Hopwell at the moment along 35 Hopwell Bank Yaha Jerusalem 30 at halftime we'll be right back in the game of the week Pointer this time from uh, Thomas Lukunas and Robinson at the other end.
This is to win it. This is to bring it to Lithuania next week. Big shot. Big, big shot. Jaden Riley is in a massive three with 7.3 seconds to go. Very careless pass. Oh, beautiful, beautiful basketball! The dome is behind the back! Trying to break the zone defense down, the full court pressure. Well, there's interception, and Gola all the way! Aksamlar! Good night, Kashyaka! That is for you! Razzle Dazzle, step back, three, toss it, get it, Strasbourg, with a bit of time left, they don't want to foul! Here we go, lands down, in, gone, uh, the match for Strasbourg! DeAndre! Lines down, are you serious? 1.6 seconds left. Down by two. Oh, you gotta get the ball inbound. There's a cross court. Dalton can win the game. Well, that is it. Ladies and gentlemen, Strasbourg have won the game. And again, look at Horvat, reaches in, anticipates, behind the back pass, showtime! Goodness me, McDuffie! Gregor Horvat has taken the game over! Gets a switch on defense. Gotta get it. Step back. Takes it. Oh, baby! Are you kidding me? Limoges! Bon Good night! Bryce Jones, Monsieur Jones, merci beaucoup! Alain Limoges, as they would say back in France. אפשר בבקשה להתחיל איתו? Keep being focused on the details that we talked before the game. Control Hankins under the rim. And to prevent those, let's say, 50 something percent from two, that they are stronger. So I think on the game plan we are there. We still need to be focused with the ball, not to turn the ball, because they did like six or seven points from turnovers, and like six or seven points from second chance. So we need to stay focused. We need to, again, to move the ball a little bit uh, to get the open shot and uh, continue with our aggressiveness. Good luck, coach. Thank you. Well, the words from Guy Goodis with Hapoel Atzmon Halon leading it 35 to 30 over Hapoel Bank Yahab Jerusalem. Long way to go. Remember, this is a battle of two 0 and 1 teams. Each team lost last 30 week. 30 points alone in the first half. What overtime. do you feel that you need to do better on the offensive event? It's just more flow, more execution. Okay, then some unnecessary turnovers, and that's it. Thank you very much. Thank you, bud. So better flow, better execution, and cut down the turnovers. Always uh, the turnovers, as I said before, toxic to a team's chances. Look at the field goal percentages for both teams. Halon uh, shooting much better, 41% to 30% for Jerusalem. Uh, but these games can change in the blink of an eye. And Halon will know they have got to keep their foot on the pedal. Keep going, keep the focus, the concentration, because Jerusalem will come out, I would imagine, uh, especially strong here at the start of the third quarter.
to Speedy Smith. He only has three points, but does have three rebounds and assists and three steals. Randolph, along with his six points, he has three rebounds and assists, but has uh, turned it over twice. And again, as you look at the numbers, my better, better shooting so far for Halon, but also remember the free throw stat, which was at least coming into the game, you would have said that's an advantage to Halon. Halon have done well at the line tonight. They've made five of six, 83.33%. Whereas Jerusalem shooting around 65%, the lowest of all the teams in the round of 16. And 31 out of the 32 teams, when you include all the other teams from the Basketball Champions League this season, well, they're 10 of 10 tonight. So if they can continue to make free throws, that's going to help them obviously stay in this game and give them a chance to get a win on the road. Folks, you can watch all these games on courtside 1891 for free. Great opportunity. And second half action underway. Cologne starting, leading by five. Raglan gets it to Harris and he stepped out of bounds. well before the start of this game and it continues to rock and that was a great drive and finish for Levi Randolph he's got eight points Delorier the high pick and the turnover Cornelius over to Smith and on the break is Levi Randolph and five quick points for Levi Randolph Jerusalem tie the game and again after the turnover how many times have we just seen these teams turn it over almost unforced with a slip or something and then look at the answer they're punished immediately and now the Jerusalem fans starting to believe in their chances a little bit more so Ragland's going to sit out he kind of slipped and fell don't know if he tweaked a muscle Delaurier comes in. Dalton. 
Delorier at the elbow to Dalton. Wide open. You can count it. It's second three-pointer. He loves that spot on the court. Man, it definitely looks like Raglan has uh, done something. A little bit of grimace over there after falling to the court. Speedy Smith wide open. And Hankins rebounds the miss. And two free throws coming. A pretty decent defense, really. Deloria looked like he had his hand straight up, but if he got a hold of him and fouled him, he fouled him. This was Dalton. Definitely a developing story as Raglan comes back in. Jerusalem continuing to make their free throws and finally missed one. Now 11 of 12. Raglan to Johnson from the left corner. Good! Boy, he has brought his A game tonight, Chris Johnson. Perhaps wanting to launch a bid for the February MVP. Doesn't want to see Raglan get all the honors. Here's Zach Hankins. Oh, boy, tough drive to deny Cornelius. Miscav. And the reach and the foul called. Dalton, oh, it rims out. So the high flying Dalton got his hands on it. He says he was fouled as he was up over the rim. He comes out of there, loses it, but there is Delorier, picks up the loose ball. Raglan, the law, Johnson decides to come down with it, gets it over to Miscav, his feet set! Miscav joining the three-point shooting party, taking the lead back up to eight points. Carrington drives his pass, batted away. And this is becoming a dangerous situation for Jerusalem, falling behind back now by eight points. Remember, they trailed by nine earlier, came back to tie it. And that was just the right decision for Johnson. Didn't force it. Oh, quick pass, Miskev, the little runner, high arcing shot, no good. And probably not the best shot from this guy. Randolph. Carrington drifts in, puts it up. Oh, that was silky smooth. And the lefty. The lefties always look better. He made that look good. Alone, not able to get a stranglehold on this game. They've come close. Uh, but this time the, the reach and the foul. So just the second foul in this quarter. This is just a great move. A little floater from Carrington. Dalton 
to Laurier. Well, if they get a bucket here, it'll be six straight. Or if it's a three, it would be seven straight, but it's an air ball. And the drive and the basket off. Good, powerful move from Raglan. They did not want to come up empty on that occasion, and they did not. It's an eight point lead. Zach Hankins just did not know what to do with that as Raglan got over and used the rim to his advantage with that reverse layup. Perhaps so Raglan, so Hankins couldn't block it. Let's go down to the bench. was Raglan scoring that last bucket and then the teams went over for the timeout. Certainly not all as well with Maharis over there in that Jerusalem team. He's such a good player but felt like there was a little bit of a heated exchange when he walked off the court at the end of the first half. So it's Van A, Smith, Randolph, Hankins and Carrington in the game for Jerusalem. Benny hangs it on, hands it off to Randolph. Carrington. Whistle blows and another foul. Late in the shot clock. Johnson complicates matters by getting a technical foul. He wanted to travel. So that allows him to cut it back to a seven point deficit. So this could be a huge trip down the floor. If Jerusalem can get a three pointer. Even if they get a bucket. It could be a momentum swinger. Three back of the cup, and Jones hands it off to Ragland as Halon. And this is Rayleigh Darby Halon against Jerusalem. Dalton, will it be? No, it will not be his third three of the game. Randolph spins, goes up. Draws the foul. It looked like he altered his shot so it wouldn't get blocked. And he altered it so much that didn't have a chance to make it, but in the end he was fouled, so he'll get free throws. Watch him. Yeah, he saw Jones coming over to get the block. That's why he put a little extra arc on it. Now he misses the free throw. He does make the second. They were 10 of 10 at the line at halftime. And 
and still shooting it well 12 of 14 but they're two of four obviously in this half. Raglan strong with the ball gets it back to Johnson Johnson can't catch it Carrington picks it up gets it to Manning. Point shot is good. Huge shot from Speedy Smith. And just back to a three point game. Jerusalem will not go away. Jones sets the big Raglan on the floor for the loose ball. And he's tied up with Levi Randolph. Well, you have to like Jerusalem's chances. They get. Bordeon into the game for Johnson, who's tormented them somewhat tonight. And they're only down by three points. In other words, now is the time for them to make their move. Randolph drives in and gets it to go. The reverse layup. And without that extra protection from Johnson, that's exactly what they did. They attacked the rim. Miscavs drifts in, loses it. Speedy Smith knocks it away, and the turnovers come to the fore again. Good is asking for a timeout on the next dead ball. Looks like Miscavs is going to come out. Here's Randolph. Speedy Smith. Shares the basketball and Carrington misses from three, but Vanny with the rebound. Another opportunity for Jerusalem. They'll take the lead with a basket. Here's a three from Smith and still cannot get the drop. And surely you go down low. You get something driving to the basket here if you're Hopewell. No, nope, it's going to be Dalton for three. And Hankins rebounds the miss. in front Jerusalem back on top they've led by as many as three points in the game it's been pretty much alone until now I feel the need for speed D puts him in front by a point Speedy Smith taking over Eight points, two assists, four rebounds. Let's try to hear Coach Goodis. Randolph with 15 points, leading the scores for Jerusalem. Carrington has 10, Speedy Smith 8. 
quiet night offensively for Zach Hankins. Marek Mahares comes back into the game. Could be time for him to take over. Since Sandivani as well, he's only got three points. Could be time for the boys from the Baltics to step it up. And how about for Holon? Well, this is Joe Raglan time, surely. Harris also back in the game, as is Johnson. Carrington. Also have Dawson that could come in, play for Holon. We haven't seen him in the second half. So Mahadis goes up and commits the foul long way from the basket. 28.7 seconds left. So in no danger. Cornelius coming back in. And that was short lived from Mahadis. He just does not look like he's on the same page with his coach for whatever reason. Harris fouled by Vanek, and that is foul number four. Some nervous looking fans here in Hello on their team. He's had a couple of leads and they've disappeared. Harris whips it down low to Jones. Now Harris has it again. Jones, the turnaround. And it wouldn't have counted. And suddenly, the momentum just dries up. And it's all with the team in red. Jerusalem outscoring Halon 17 to 11 in this third quarter. And turnovers have been a problem in this quarter for Halon. So Dawson does come back into the game. And let Raglan sit down so he doesn't pick up a foul. They can't foul though, they've got four. They'd be over the limit. Here's Carrington, oh boy. Almost, and that's how the third quarter finishes. Frustrating for Carrington. He got to the rim, just didn't make the shot. It's Hopwell Jerusalem leading it 47 46 over Hopwell. That's more alone. Look back at the third quarter. And Levi Randolph got that three pointer. I mean, Halone had the momentum. They were rolling. And then just, uh, I remember a, a miscap shot that, that wasn't too good. A little runner in the lane. Just kind of turned it over a couple of times. Johnson with 12 points, 10 for Ragland, leading the way for Halone, who also has six points from Dalton. 
Dawson has five. He had five at halftime. For Jerusalem, Levi Randolph with 15 points, Carrington with 10, and Speedy Smith with eight. Now they are six of 20 from three point range. Whereas nine, Halon are nine of 20. But Jerusalem have done a lot of damage at the line tonight. 13 of 15 free throws they've made compared to five of six for Halon. Harris to Jones. Hasn't really had any good looks tonight. And there is, look at that, Johnson and the foul call before the shot, so it will not be a potential three-point play. You can see how difficult it is to keep Johnson off the boards because uh, Vanny actually had him away and he just kind of almost bull rushed Vane and got in and got the rebound here it is again watch now they're arguing that this should be a, a made basket challenge it and I don't know if they're challenging the actual foul that was called or challenging that they actually had the shot off in time it saying it should have been a sportsman like possibly because it holds up just a normal foul so anyway you don't want to end the game without having used your coach's challenge so that's it that's the coach's challenge used by Goodis Pulls up for three. Bordion called for the push on Levi Randolph. We've seen an explosive quarter yet from Jerusalem. Yeah, that could happen. They could get hot here in this fourth quarter. Smith for three and bounces over the backboard and out of bounds. So Deloria comes back in and Jones goes out. Jones just two points tonight. He does have five rebounds. Raglan, I don't know if that was a lob or a runner, but it was swatted away. And now Hankins goes to work. Hangs in the air. The ball will stay at this end. It was Delorier who knocked it over the backboard.
Vanny has it knocked away. Carrington. Poor Jerusalem just missing some jumpers. Here's Speedy Smith. And he misses as well. And away, Halone riding their luck right now. With Jerusalem just not able to uh, to get into that rhythm from deep. After those misses, they're now six of 23 from three-point range. Compare that to nine of 21 for Halon. Another three pointer for Joe Raglan. Time and time again, Raglan comes to the rescue for Hapoel Halon. is a wide open three. And this time it was Vanny called for the foul on Harris. I mean, part of me thinks that you just gotta don't settle for those threes. Don't whip it around the perimeter. Attack, attack, attack. If you're Jerusalem, if the threes aren't falling. Six of 24 from three point range. Vane sits down. And Mahedis comes back in. Raglan, another three attempts. This time off the back of the cup. Randolph to Mahedis. Randolph drives in. The twisting shot. How did he make it? What a finish from Levi Randolph. It looked almost as if it was in the passing motion, passing motion, and then he kind of twisted his body and took the shot and made it. And now the ball knocked away from Raglan, but it's Speedy Smith who has whistled for the foul. Definitely a good attempt to get it, but it was whistled for the personal. Johnson, are you kidding me? Unbelievable. All of a sudden, hello, and just start raining three pointers again. But I'm not settling for a three, I'm going to the basket. Surely they've got to drive to the basket. Speedy Smith, Randolph, shot clock about to expire. They're going to have to chuck it up. It's got to be now Randolph for three. And they run out of time. sequence that was great defense from Halone Harris and the ball batted out by Levi Randolph and you just feel like with Jerusalem it's been a struggle all night long shooting the basketball from deep Get something going to the basket. Don't settle for the three. Don't just look for the three. The double team comes, find the open man, and drive. Here it is. Racklin, well, he'll shoot the three, and he'll make it! 
to Raglan. Already making a case for his third MVP award of the month. Knocks down his fourth three-pointer of the game. He is four of six from three-point range, 16 points. And that trails only Levi Randolph, who has 17. We'll see if we can hear Coach Zikic. Guys, guys, we are giving them. We are giving them. And the one thing about Halon is they just go through these spells where they hit one, two, three threes in a row. And that is uh, the spell that has put them back in command up by six points. And that is the story of the game, really. Halon's ability to knock down the three-pointers. And now the steal, and get ready, folks. It's a rim rocker. Well, in fact, he just laid it up and in, didn't he? That was a very polite two-handed jam. Three-point shot. Oh, what do I know? I think Jerusalem do need to stick with the game plan. Just shoot the threes. <laughs> Maybe they'll make them all the rest of the way. Racklin missing and Hankins with a real man's rebound there. But you know, coming into this game, in terms of shooting it from deep, when you look at the 32 teams that played in the Basketball Champions League, Jerusalem down at number 26, shooting it at 31.8%, whereas Halon shooting it at 40.9%. Here's Speedy Smith, and a little long again. The long rebound, however, goes to Randolph. Still plenty of time. Five points separate these two teams. Couple of Jerusalem with the basketball. Uh, Miscav is going to come back into the game. Give uh, Raglan a break. But I can't see him staying out of the game too long. Cornelius also goes out of the game. Carrington back in now to Hankins. Carrington for three. That's good. Well, three point shot getting him back in the game. That's why I'm not the coach. Here comes Miscav. Big possession here for Halon. And the ball taken away. Here goes Maharis. The much maligned Maharis tonight comes up with a huge defensive play. Randolph, Carrington. Will it be another? And Miscav had Maharis on his back. Uh, but they've called the foul on Miscav. Watch. This is Carrington. 
suddenly has found his rhythm. He's got 13 points. And then that three pointer fell for Randolph, and all of a sudden, they can't miss. So Randolph sits down, and Sikic, he would tell you probably it's more about the flow of the offense rather than taking and three pointers. Here is another made shot, and Speedy Smith ties it up at 57. Israel rocking and rolling tonight with basketball Champions League action here, the game of the week, and it has lived up to the hype. The first ever game between Israeli teams in the basketball Champions League. It's knotted at 57 with 3.44 remaining. He's been tough. Ten points. Four rebounds, three assists, just 4-12 from the floor, but that was a big shot. So Raglan back in the game. See up the final three and a half minutes. DeLaurier. Over to Misgav. Delore challenges for the rebound. And foul called on the team in red, Cornelius. Offensive rebound, the extension as he goes back up, it makes it look easy. Johnson on the baseline, and a push is called. And the Jerusalem coach is complaining that he stepped out of bounds. They get a break. And Johnson makes the first. Look like two sisters enjoying the festivities tonight. Purple and yellows and the reds. And Johnson hustles, but not able to save it. And bounds. And alone and their fans, they know what it's like. I mean, it's just 
feels like every game they win has to be a thriller. We saw it so many times last season. They lost an overtime last week, double overtime to Strasbourg. Carrington bends the knees and ties it at 16. If he makes this, Jerusalem go back in front and remember, not a good free throw shooting team. Jerusalem. Well, they missed that one. So they are now 14 of 17 at the line. Not bad. Speedy Smith for three. And Johnson skying high and the foul. Call down low on Hayden Dalton, and that is all Zach Hankins. They just can't keep him off the glass. His athleticism is just off the charts. Ten rebounds for Hankins, five points, one of two at the line. And Hopwell Jerusalem back in front. Boy, it would be a happy trip home for the Hopwell Jerusalem fans if they could get a win tonight after all the adversity they have faced, and they have faced it in this game. They have faced it from the crowd, from Halom, and from even within. You can see they've been fighting through some issues. But if they can get a win, it could be a turning point in their season. Here's Raglan for three. And Hankins with another rebound, 11. And Raglan ties up. Looks like a bear hug on Carrington, who's down on the ground. And the possession arrow will keep the basketball at this end. So C.J. Harris right now out of the game. Dawson, DeLaurier, Bordion. It's Miscav who's getting the crucial minutes here for Halon. Hankins. To Levi Randolph. He's been quiet the last couple of minutes. And Raglan reaches in and commits the foul on Randolph. He needs to be careful. He doesn't say too much to the ref. Yeah, it does look like he got a lot of ball there. Listen, the ref has got to make that in a split second. He sees the reach. And he's, if he sees the foul, he's got to call what he sees. But Randolph misses the first. And makes the second. Well, considering how difficult this game has been for Jerusalem, they are sitting pretty right now, leading by three points, less than a minute and a half remaining. back in the game. Johnson puts up a prayer and it almost went in. Can you believe it? Wow. Just not good execution. And now Jerusalem with a chance to score. And if they do, it will be a dagger. Ball intercepted by Harris. Speedy Smith pass. Not sure why he made it in that fashion. They can tie it with a three or they can pull to within one. Randolph reaches in, knocks it away. Raglan gets it back. Harris over to Raglan for three. A high arcing shot. Big game, Joe strikes again. 
Nothing was opening up inside. He had to take the three, and he made the three. The legend grows for Joe Ragland. Five three-pointers on the night, 19 points, but Jerusalem could very well reclaim the lead. The two is good from Carrington. He has been utterly sensational. In fact, if that's a three, I thought his foot was inside the arc. Have another look. Oh, no, he stepped back. That's a three. Unbelievable. What a play, and what a fourth quarter for Carrington. And I think they're just going to review it and see, in fact, if it was a three. Oh, no, and now they're saying, hold on. So it looked to me initially like it was a two. Here it is again. Yeah, his left foot is on the line. Just his toe, just a little bit with the bottom of his shoe, just right there on the white. Look at this. So that makes it a little bit more doable for Halon needing a two rather than a three. But the way they play, you'd almost wonder if they'd go for the three. At 13 to 29 from three point range. So, alone 13 to 29 from three point range, eight of 22 inside the arc. I mean, they're shooting the basketball better from three point range tonight. So, that's going to be called a two. And now it's decision time. Go down and take a quick three and get the rebound if it's a miss. He's going to hold up two fingers. So, hello now called timeout. They've been outscored 35-28 in the second half. stories was a former Halone star TJ Klein signing for Jerusalem but he's not playing tonight not ready and to be honest this game hasn't lacked for anything it has been end to end exciting stuff now are they going to go for a two and try to tie it or are they going to try to win it with a three tough pass Dalton shot clock winding down Dalton spins inside Back outside, it's going to be Harris for a winner. And he misses in his heartbreak for the second consecutive week for Halon, losing excruciatingly painful defeat. And Jerusalem, tip your hat to them. They dug in, they didn't give up, and they have won it in hostile territory. 65-63 over Hapoel Halon. Well, Dalton, as he drives, it looks like he's got a chance maybe, but then Hankins comes over, and they get a good shot that they would have settled for, and you can see it was off just a little bit to the left. And C.J. Harris, the pain, the agony of defeat 
and the Halon fans for the second week in a row check into the Heartbreak Hotel. Meanwhile, Jerusalem are going to be happy as they head back. What a gritty win. That is a potential season defining win if they can uh, see if it can get catapult them into uh, the quarterfinals. But all bets are off in this group. I mean, this group is just going to be, it's going down to the finish. But one thing we do know is that Halone cannot lose anymore. They need to get some wins. If they're going to stay in the hunt for a top two place, you can see all the scoring. Randolph for the game at 21, Raglan 19. And the Jerusalem fans, some of them uh, turning it into the armpit section there, cheering for their team. They are in a good mood as they head back to the Holy City. And they're going to celebrate with their fans. And the Cologne fans are going to have to watch. It just wasn't easy, was it? But there were a couple of times when Cologne, you know, went up by nine points and, and just did not execute well in those moments. Had some key turnovers. The Carrington, this ends up being the game winning shot. Uh, Kadeen Carrington, look out, folks. He might uh, take it out on his former team, Dijon, when they play again. And uh, this was at the end. Dalton, shot clock about to expire. Harris could see it. He, he took it. I think it felt good. It looked good, but it was off to the left just a little bit. And that is the cruel nature Levi, of basketball. Let's listen, to go, let's listen to Levi Randolph. It was great. You know, we needed this win. After losing at home to Dijon, uh, puts us back on track to continue to push forward in this round of 16. Is it a little bit sweeter to beat an Israeli team on a European competition? Yeah, it's a weird group. You know, two French teams, two Israeli teams. But it's a hand we got dealt. So we got to continue to work, continue to get better, and uh, glad we got a win today. Talk to us about your defense. You managed to stop Apollo Colon on 63 points. What's right for you guys? Uh, just like I said at halftime, we hang our hats on the defensive end. You know, that's what we have to do to win. That's our identity. Uh, and it worked for us today. Personally, you had a great game. What do you feel right for you tonight? One more time. What's right for you tonight? Uh, just my teammates trusted me. I was just trying to be aggressive. Um, you know, I missed a couple games earlier in the season. So I just wanted to try to get back on track, be aggressive. We want to thank our fans. Can you get the fans? Can you look at the fans right now? Get the fans. Can you get the fans? You want to? <laughs> yeah, look at them. That's why we won. Right there. We couldn't do it without them. Thank you very much. Thank you. Especially the guy with the ball of club up on the stands. He's doing his bit. Good to see Levi Randolph paying tribute to the fans. And it really is a great point. Cologne comes in averaging more than 83, almost 84 points a game, the most in the Basketball Champions League. And defensively tonight, uh, Jerusalem put on the shackles and limited them to 63 points. Of course, the three-point shooting is what carried Halon for long stretches, but it couldn't carry him to victory. Uh, they finished 13 of 30 from deep, uh, but the last three-pointer they took, they missed. And you know the saying, you live by the three-point shot, you die by the three-point shot. And unfortunately for Halon tonight, they ended up dying by it. In terms of uh, three-point shooting, Raglan would have been the preferred option just because he was so hot. He was five of eight. Of course, Johnson was three of six from deep. Hayden Dalton was two of six. And C.J. Harris just couldn't get it going tonight from three-point range. And he was the man that ended up with the, the look and uh, and he missed it to go to 0 and 4 0 for 4 from deep tonight. So he was 3 of 6 last week. 0 for 4 the week before that against Iguakea and then in the first meeting against Iguakea he was 2 of 5. So sometimes they fall sometimes they don't and they just didn't fall tonight uh, for Harris. But if it doesn't kill you uh, it makes you stronger or at least it can make you stronger. And now Halon know they're going to have to go and win probably at Jerusalem. And the good news is that it's not a big margin of defeat.
So in this game of the week, the first ever Israeli derby, the battle between Jerusalem and Halon. Jerusalem came out and they took care of business. I mean, they really did. And, you know, from a defensive standpoint, you can't find too many faults. It's difficult to chase those three point shooters. They've got so many that can hit them. Alone tonight had six different players hit three point shots. And even then, uh, they had some others like Bordillon. Who could who could shoot it from deep uh, and make it and as well as Harris so you know it, it's difficult guarding all those shooters uh, but what they did do was they really guarded these guys in and around the basket and they also really never lost faith in their ability to, to make plays late in the game. Yeah, but they definitely forced Halon into some bad shots late. This was a steal. And a bucket for Johnson. And at that point, it was looking good for Halon. Uh, but Jerusalem just played better down the stretch. And Carrington came out and carried them. And then you had Hankins, who just was terrific on the boards. Second chance points, ended up with 11 rebounds to go with his seven points. Also had two blocks. And it was a constant presence. And again, the five three-pointers for Raglan were big. But this was a shot that won the game from Carrington. Kadeem Carrington ended up being a two-pointer, not a three. His toe was just on the line. Uh, but in the end, it didn't hurt them because they played defense on this last play, although they did survive a wide open look from Harris right at the end. And all you can hope in that situation is to get a shot like that or to get a shot inside Chris, a better shot. Chris, you had some time in the locker room. What was going work. on there? Here's Chris, Chris Johnson. Um, you know, the first we played a good game, you know, um, I think we kind of struggled on offense tonight, having a few turnovers, but y'all give them credit. You know, they came back and they played defensively, but, um, you know, it's not over yet. We still got four more games, so we can still control our destiny. What was missing at the end for you guys? Rebounds. I think they got a few uh, rebounds. The rest made a few, you know, iffy 50 50 calls in the fourth quarter down the stretch, but, you know, um, we just, like I said, we got four more games, so we got to keep staying stand, uh, positive. What challenges did they pose that you didn't handle as well, especially during those final moments? I don't think anything specific. You know, I think we kind of struggled on offense, like I said, with, with a few turnovers. But um, we got we got another game um, this weekend, so we got to be ready for that. As the team captain, how are you planning to lift everyone up? Um, we're taking one by taking day by day. You know, uh, we're part of basketball. We're, we're professionals, so we just got to you know stay with it, um, uplift each other, and, and get ready for next week. This week. Thank you, Chris. Thank you. So the rebounding advantage, 41 to 28 in favor of Jerusalem. And their fans aren't in a hurry to go anywhere right now. They're just, uh, they're gonna sing into the night, into the late night, the early morning hours perhaps. Maybe call in sick, not go to work tomorrow. They're all happy. And we know that Jerusalem have had some frustrations in the Basketball Champions League over the years, getting to the quarterfinals a couple times, but who knows? You just never know in this competitive Basketball Champions League which teams are going to get it done. And Carrington still out there dancing with them, as well as Randolph and the rest of the players, Speedy Smith, Zach Hankins, Marek Maharis, Sim Sanderbene, all of them. Brandon Brown, or Cornelius. Uh, your fans come and support you like this, and you just want to spend the rest of the night with them. Well, Levi Randolph really 
carried his team tonight in difficult moments. Six of 11 from the floor. He was seven of nine at the free throw line. And he led them in scoring with 21 points. Didn't matter if it was three point shots, if it was driving to the basket, he was courageous and taking advantage and ended up with the game high 21 points. Eighteen second chance points for Jerusalem illustrates just how important those rebounds were. So we knew it was going to be special the first time that Israeli clubs squared off in the Basketball Champions League and it took until year seven of the competition for that to happen. So it had to be the game of the week and it was the game of the week. It lived up to it and even though Hapoel Halon, they made it to the final four last year. Well, they're 0-2 now in the round of 16. And a huge win for Hapoel Jerusalem on the road.